It's Double Bass Day, the series where we take two whiskeys and put them head to head to break down the differences and similarities they may have. This week's episode, we are putting some interesting weeders head to head. We are putting the Weller Special Reserve up against 1792 Sweet Wheat. Can the 1792 take down the sought after Weller? Let's find out. What's up, folks? I'm Jason Steep in the Master and Drum, and welcome to another double bass episode. Before we dive into the comparison, let's learn a little bit more about what's in each of these bottles. And as always, if you have any comparison suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. First up is Weller Special Reserve, which is from Buffalo Trace. Bottled at 90 proof, has an undisclosed weeded mash bill. It's non H stated, believed to be somewhere between six to seven years old. Priced at retail for $23 but it is highly allocated and can be seen for prices north of $100 in some places. Its opponent is the 1792 Sweet Wheat from Barton 1792 Distillery. This was first released back in 2015. This is bottled at 91.2 proof, also with an undisclosed weeded mash bill. The standard 1792 expression is considered high rye, since it is thought to use more rye as its secondary grain than in traditional bourbon mash bills. This one retails for about $38 and has some weird allocation depending on where you live. This is the first time I was really able to uh, get one here in Ohio but I've been in other places where these are just sitting around. So I think it really just depends on where you live. All right guys, so I'll be comparing these blind as you know, I'll be rating nose, palate, and finish, and see which one comes on top. Now, don't have a lot of experience with that 1792 Sweet Wheat, I've had it before, but to put it in a comparison against Weller Special Reserve is something I've always wanted to do. So, um, mix these up one more time here. All right, we'll call this A, we'll call this B, and let's see what comes out on top. Here we go, guys. Mm, very sweet. You could definitely smell the the weeded mash bill in this one. A lot of vanilla. This one has a little bit of like a uh, like a, a fruity cereal type thing going on, like fruity pebbles, Fruit Loops, a little bit of pepper. I definitely get some nice uh, like sweet oak presence in this one as well. That's got a nice nose. All right, let's go to B here. Oh, B's coming off a little bit different here. There's more of like an artificial like bubblegum note I'm getting in number two. Yeah, a little bit more spice on this one. Little hint of banana there. Also maybe a little bit of coconut too that I'm picking up in this one. That's interesting. Hmm. Man, when it comes to the nose, I think I like A a little bit more. I think it's just A just is coming off a little bit more traditional, a little bit sweeter. I think I'm gonna give the nose to A on this comparison. Let's go to the palette, see what we got. What's with the coconut I'm picking up tonight? Very strange, I'm getting like coconut flavors. <laughs> Uh, so this one actually brought a little hint of coconut there on the first one, um, but yeah, a lot of vanilla. I'm still getting like that fruit cereal characteristic there. Gonna need another sip of that one. All right, less coconut on the second sip. Very traditional like vanilla caramels. Very sweet, very easy. You know, these are weeded bourbons. So these go down pretty easy after a couple sips. I'm digging this one, this one's nice. Yeah, super sweet. I'm still getting that little bit of coconut. That's crazy. I don't remember getting coconut on either one of these bourbons when I tried them in the past. Just must be my palate today, so. All right, let's go to the second one here, see what we get. Hmm. Man, coming off of A, this one's really easy to sip. Man. Spicy, very sweet. Man, that thing is, that is one like easy drink and sipper. I mean, I know these are both weeders. 
but this one is just really coming off sweet and easy. A little bit of that cereal note coming through here too, probably that weeded mash bill. A little bit of cinnamon here too I'm getting on the on the nose. I already know we, we judge nose, but I always like going back to the nose and seeing how it's opened up. This one's almost drinking too easy. There's just really not much going on here. Let me go back to uh, letter A. Yeah, I think A is just doing it for me a little bit more on the palate too. I'm completely like, I have no idea <laughs> what is going on in either of these glasses. These are very interesting. So when it comes to palate, I think I'm gonna have to give it to A again. Which means, I mean, just based on the comparison, A I think is just gonna win out for me. I think A also has a better, a little bit of a better finish as well. Yeah, he's got a little bit more spice to it. A little bit more of a sweeter, lingering finish. Second one. Oh my God, that's like drinking nothing. It's, it's, it's so easy to drink. I mean, I, I know that's the point of a, of a good weeded bourbon, but this is like over the top. I mean, you might as well, if you told me that was uh, freaking water in the glass, I might believe you. All right. A for the win. I have no idea what this is going to be. Let's see here. What? Wow. I didn't expect that. For the win. <laughs> the Weller Special Reserve comes in way more interesting than the 1792 Sweet Wheat. So Weller takes out Sweet Wheat from 1792. This is 1792 Sweet Wheat. I don't remember drinking that easy. And while a lot of people may like that, uh, to me, it, and this is a little bit of a tick of a higher proof too, but it drinks even easier than Weller Special Reserve does. To me, personally. So if you guys are lucky enough to have these, blind them and, and, and go back and forth. I was picking a little bit up of the banana here on, on this, uh, this glass, which may include me into 1792. But this getting like the coconut on A, which ended up being the Weller, that one really kind of threw me off. But I think the fruity, the fruitiness, the caramel vanilla started coming through at the very end. And the finish was way more interesting on the Weller than it was on the 1792. 1792 just has such an easy sipping experience. I mean, if any of you guys out there are looking for one of the easiest sipping weeders on the planet, that 1792 Sweet Wheat might do it. But for me today, Weller Special Reserve still comes out on top. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this interesting episode of Double Bass. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Uh, let me know if you've done this comparison, uh, what your results were. If you guys have any Double Bass suggestions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. So cheers and friggin' Weller taking it. Unbelievable. Cheers, guys.